Besties. Besties. We have so much to do. Sunny does not like that I'm singing or cheering to you all. Here's the deal. We are at my kitchen island right now. I need to start planning for the holidays. So last week we cleaned for the holidays. You would be a little bit disappointed because <laughs> the kitchen is a mess again. Let me just show you. How does this happen? I could literally have a YouTube channel solely of me cleaning my kitchen every week and I would have so much content. It's ridiculous, but I want to start planning for Thanksgiving. I want to start planning for Christmas and even New Year's because we are going on a New Year's trip, which is super exciting. We're going with Nick's family, so it's going to be a family trip and I love family trips. I haven't been on very many, but when I have been on them, they've been the best trips that I've been on. I just got off the phone with my sister and we have new plans emerging. So the plans that I make today may become more and bigger plans <laughs> or change, but I need some sort of structure. I don't have a notebook on me, so I'm gonna have to write in my agenda. I didn't actually show this yet. If I did an unboxing video or an unboxing clip, I'll insert it here. I got the LV Agenda, the one that clips, and I'm just in love with it. I wanted to go more classic, so I went with the Damier of Ben instead of just the LV monogram, only because I was thinking about it, and I'm like, this is something I'll have for a lifetime. I want to make sure it's not trendy and I don't get sick of the logo. So yeah, she's cute. I've been planning my little heart out. I'm so low right now because I'm in an accent chair and my island is literally at boob level or above boob level. <laughs> getting a little older 30s are coming at me fast but anyway it's okay i still love you girls we need to plan so here's what i'm thinking do you guys want to see me or do you want to see my notebook also i need to run out and get some ingredients today and nail glue because one of my nails popped off and i somehow don't have nail glue so wild start to the morning i already did my morning routine as you can see i have very light beautiful fresh makeup on i'm feeling great i'm so happy that vlogmas is coming though oh my goodness i feel like so much happens in between my weekly uploads and whenever i have to come and film a video i just feel like i need to explode with all this information and i end up repeating myself and i just have so much to tell you and then things get like like this i bought this months ago anyway this was definitely my one luxury purchase of the year unless i'm forgetting something else that i bought this year <laughs> boys okay we may hear dogs in the background i do not have the attention span to wait any longer <laughs> i just need to film because vlogmas is coming up i really need you all this is a special request from me to you please write down in the comment section what you want to see for vlogmas because obviously i have my own ideas i always do everything that i want to do and put out but if there's something that you don't want to miss then definitely let me know so I can add it in. I did a poll recently on my community tab to ask what you guys wanted to see and it was basically show us everything. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I need to ask in detail what they wanna see because I am gonna show you everything regardless, but I just don't wanna miss something. The only thing that I'm not sure I'm going to do is a gift guide this year. I just am, I could go on forever about this topic, but I just feel like gifts are so personal. I end up doing gift guides on things that I like and I would gift and think the people in my life want, which may be completely different than what you are looking to gift or get yourself or, I don't know. I mean, I still might come out with like a last minute gift guide someday in December. I could even do a video on how I approach gift giving 
even though to me it's like one of those really obvious things like you ask a person what they want if they don't tell you you think about that we're back in action i have no idea what they were barking at absolutely no idea what was i even talking about <laughs> something about vlogmas just tell me what you want to see for vlogmas and i will make sure I get it done. I was even thinking of doing a DIY I've been wanting to do, but I don't know. Sometimes I have so many different ideas that I get overwhelmed and then there's no like theme to my YouTube channel. And I don't know if it gets confusing because I don't niche down <laughs> onto certain topics, like really dive into just one thing. So I don't know, I'm all over the place, as is my channel. And I bought a notebook so I could write all my plans in it, but it isn't here yet and I need to get this video done. I found this page in my notebook. It's actually like a habit page, a habit tracker, but I think it will be perfect for us to start writing down everything. Up first and foremost is Thanksgiving. Then I'm having a second Thanksgiving with my sister. <laughs> Then we have, uh, we're just gonna put Vlogmas. Then we have Christmas Eve. And then Christmas. And then the family trip. That is the perfect amount of sections for what we need. So for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be making some food and bringing it to Nick's parents' house. So I'm definitely making the mac and cheese. I'm also making mini pecan pies. Honey butter rolls. I wanna make creamed corn, it just sounds really good but I wanna make it super thick. I'm also going to be making these sausage and crescent roll sort of appetizer thing. That is my favorite and I really only eat it on Thanksgiving. Not that you can't eat it any other time. It's just the only time I remember to make it. And there's normally sausage in it, but I use ground chicken because I am me. Second Thanksgiving, I'm considering just doubling all of these things, making a double batch so that way we have a whole extra setup for our second Thanksgiving with my sister. So maybe we'll just write double batch. And then anything that we discuss that I want to add on, we have room to do so. So Vlogmas. Vlogmas is the next thing where I need your help. I need your input on what you want to see. I've already started filming that way on some random days I can vlog and not have to edit so I can like clump two days together with vlogs. I think that will be more sustainable for me so I don't burn out but then you get all the exact same content plus more than you did last year. So I think this is a good way to go. So we need to do a little bit of pre-filming and do I need to get anything for vlogmas? Maybe I can consider a giveaway because I normally do giveaways at the end of the year. Now, Christmas Eve. We're having a party at Nick's mom's house again. And I'm definitely making scalloped potatoes. That was a hit last year. I don't know how you spell that. <laughs> Is it one P? Scalloped potatoes. We kind of wanted to just get through Thanksgiving first before we truly planned out what we were gonna have for Christmas Eve. So this is still pending, but at least we have some sort of structure to the holiday. And then for Christmas, I'm doing my famous Christmas brunch. We'll be hosting around 14 people, which will be so fun. I know for sure that Nick will end up making his eggs. I really want Nan to make her hash brown casserole, so I'm gonna write that down because it's so good. And I don't wanna forget. Last year, we got these fruit tarts from Publix and they were so good. They were such a hit. So I wanna make sure that I get those again because they went over so well. And then I definitely have to do cinnamon rolls because that is a classic and Nan loves them. So, for the family trip, this is going to be 
for New Year's. It's going to be at the end of December into January for about a week. We are going on a ski trip. And I'm kind of sad because I won't be able to ski because of my knee injury. I know I'm kind of months out from it, but I still, if I step wrong, my knee will give out. And the last thing I need to do is hurt my knee in the snow just because I wanted to ski. So Nick and I talked about it and I'm just gonna be tubing. So I'm gonna say my tubing trip. <laughs> and when my knee is fully back to full functioning, full power, I, we're gonna go we're gonna ski again we're gonna go on another trip so i don't like feel left out but for now i'm gonna have to tube but what this means is we need to buy some winter clothes because y'all know i have like none i have some cold weather clothes but not like below freezing and it's snowing out clothes so that's definitely needs to happen i want to make my packing list so I don't forget anything. And we're gonna be driving there only because I'm a heavy packer and we kind of like driving, having a little road trip. So <laughs> it all works out. What else do we need to put here for the family trip? I need to see if I'm in charge of any meals. So once I figure that out, I will write it here just so I know what to expect. And I think that's it. I already did the itinerary for one of the days, which is so fun. And I just remembered I also need to potentially get the Logan's rolls for Thanksgiving. For all the people who don't want the honey butter rolls, but I don't know. This is kind of a side thing if I get to it. This is the overall plan, so I'm feeling good. I need to print out my recipes, obviously. This year I'm definitely gonna make the mini pe pecan pies in advance because they're kind of a hoe to make and I would rather get it done on a different day than I do all the savory stuff. Just because I feel like making a treat, like a mini pie, it just takes so long. So we're definitely going to do that early. We might even get to that today because they freeze really well. I have some stuff to think on and we have a ton to prep for together. So I'm really excited for this year's Vlogmas. I guess I already printed out this recipe. So the one that I'm going to use for the rolls is the half-baked harvest one. I've never tried it, so I don't know if this is any good or not but I might make them in advance just in case I don't like them and we have to get all Logan's rolls. This is the recipe that I'm gonna try this year and I definitely will make a double batch. got the tree up it is so nice it was so much easier to put up this year i feel like because it already had a little bit of that pre-fluff she looks gorgeous we can now have christmas tree chats look at that cutie patootie i love you i feel like a load has been taking off my shoulders now that i wrote out my plan so now we must go run our errands for the day and also i wanted to emphasize that this christmas my goal is to have more slow days, more days where I just take in and appreciate all the decorations I put up, all that Christmas has to offer, just because it's so easy to get wrapped up in how busy the holidays are and not like truly enjoy it. And I don't really wanna be missing another year due to stressing. So that is the goal, a no stress Christmas. Well, it, it is inherently stressful just because there's so much to do, but I'm gonna take it as slow as possible and whatever gets done, gets done. I need to take it easy like this big guy. He's so cute. I have returned home. All of my errands have been ran. They actually took me a lot longer than I thought, but I got some packages in that I wanted to share with you. It's not really a huge haul. I just picked up a very small amount of pieces and they're all random. So I follow somebody on Instagram. It's oh you pretty things. She has an extremely aesthetic Instagram. It's definitely not like real life. It's just like super beautiful curated content which i appreciate for what it is even though i know it's not like daily life it's still so fun and she came out with a candle so i bought that and i also got a sweater it's like a cashmere tan turtleneck sweater for when i go on my trip so i thought i would just show you everything also i had another nail break off while i was getting nail glue so i need to put that on actually first <laughs>
First of all, the smell of a burnt match. So great. This candle smells of, it smells fresh, but also nuanced. There's definite, let me read the notes. Because it smells like a pretty girl in a bar with a leather jacket and she <laughs> took a shower that day. Oh, here we go, okay. Oh my gosh, there's leather accord in here. So it's cashmere wood, musk, and leather accord, lotus blossom, peony, rose petal absolute, Sicilian lemon, black currant, and pear. You're getting the leather and the pear and the rose, in my opinion, beautifully mixed together. Mm, this is delicious. This is going to be my desk candle. I love how neutral it is. Super, super stunning. While I have you here, let me show you the shirt jacket thing, sweater. <laughs> I am gonna be doing a couple of hauls. One is going to be a sustainable plus size clothing haul. So you can see inclusive sizing, sustainable brands, because I think that is super important. Oh, this feels dreamy. I got the Florex hoping it would have some drape and I would be super cozy. I'm gonna wait to try this on until the actual haul. But like I said, there's gonna be a haul for sustainable brands and then a winter specific haul because I do need winter clothes anyway. So I thought, why not share them all with you? Look how cute. This feels so nice. It's gonna keep me so toasty. I definitely am gonna have to wear a tank under this because I feel like I'll get hot with cashmere on the entire time. But it will be like 30 degrees or 20 degrees or something, I don't remember. I'll also give you a sneak peek to one of the sustainable brands. Not only is this a sustainable brand and I wanna feature it in that video, but I also got it for my trip. One, because you all know, I like to wear super cozy, cozy pajamas. I like to just wear one huge boyfriend t-shirt and undies and go to bed. That's like my favorite, most cozy outfit. But going on a family trip, I kinda need some pajamas, you know, to walk around the house in in the mornings and stuff. Did I have to try Print Fresh? No, but I did want some options. I bought two of their 5X white shirts so I could have that boyfriend shirt feel and then some leopard pants. I'm so excited. They're all cotton. They are absolutely gorgeous looking. I'm gonna wait to open them. I got these in the 4X, by the way, because I wanted them to be baggy as well. This looks absolutely gorgeous. So that's two sets of pajamas. I might need to get a third, like a pair of shorts, but I didn't wanna buy it all at once. I kinda of wanted to see it first before I went even deeper into the brand. And that's our haul for a day. Mm. This is like Delina's older, moodier, more edgy sister, this candle. It's what it smells like. Really, really good. I'm so excited because my Christmas notebook finally came in. I was taking a picture of the candle, so that's why there's kind of a setup going on but I wanted to show you what it looks like. Let's not burn the notebook. So we have a nice plaid cover, and then there's a pocket right here, and there's an area at the top for your titles, which I'm so happy about. I know this is just a standard <laughs> notebook, but I really like it. It's from Vera Bradley, I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below in case any of you also want a super bougie random Christmas planning notebook. Well, it's not that bougie, it's just a notebook. And also this is gonna be for more than Christmas. It'll be for like the whole holiday season. So I have everything in one spot. besties do i have a story for you it's not really that enthusing but i woke up i went to the gym which was fabulous i did some treadmill i did five different machines because i wasn't really feeling free weights it was great it was fantastic and then i needed to go get a coffee and here's where i was like what is going on i pull up and there's people on strike at starbucks and there's like a long line of people and i'm like what is happening Apparently it's a red cup day. What is, why is this so special? What is, I don't understand. And I didn't even, apparently you need to buy a holiday drink and I didn't even buy a holiday drink. And she handed this to me and I'm like, oh, thank you. What do you do with it? <laughs> like, what is the, why is this such a thing? It's literally a plastic cup with a Starbucks logo. Can somebody please explain to me what the hype is around this? I, see, I didn't get a holiday drink. I literally got my usual. So I don't know. It was nice of her to give me one, but I don't I don't know why. Like it was such a long line, but I had already committed. 
you know it was one of those things so i was like i'm just gonna stick it out and then while i saw the striker the people on strike i was like let me look up what this red cup thing is anyway like what is happening why are these people on strike i don't know enough about this but my coffee machine is still not dialed in my espresso machine from so long ago it broke and i got it back it just hasn't been the same but there's my morning story for you i got soaked after i left the gym ignore my garage clearly i have stuff to do but i got soaked after the gym and i'm freezing so let's go inside let's i guess wash our cup and start our day here's proof that i did actually clean my kitchen so it is no longer a disgrace look at it in all of its glory back to normal Hello besties. It is the weekend. I clearly need to do my hair. I just did a little bit of makeup. I need to go brush my teeth, which I forgot to do before I did my makeup, but it's fine. It'll all work out. <laughs> but I was just popping on to say bye and thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go run some errands and I'll probably move this into next week's vlog for everything about Thanksgiving. So I hope you have an amazing week. I'm not going to see you until after Thanksgiving. So I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Don't forget to give yourself a little extra love today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.